folks, I wanted to take a look at how to set up a simple project in which we combine Cinema 4D with After Effects. And here I've got a Cinema 4D object, the James Webb Space Telescope there, inside an After Effects project. And what I've found is, to try and get a camera on this, you can see my custom view here. If I go here, custom view. You can see I've got a camera moving around this object. And sometimes that can be a little tricky to do to get things in the right place between After Effects and Cinema 4D to get things kind of laid out properly. And uh, so this is just something, a way to do it that kind of makes things easy because I'm not a Cinema 4D expert, but this works for me. Okay, and so I'll just go back here. There we go. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to start a new composition. I'll just call it uh, C4D Tester. There we go. I'll use 1920, 1080, 10 seconds long, all fine. Okay. And so we've got a new composition. And inside here, I'm just going to add a new, I was going to put a new solid in. Okay. And I'm just going to make it a square. I'm just going to make it, say, 100 by 100. Okay. And, uh, yep. Yeah. A white square in the middle that's fine i'm going to make that 3d i'm going to add a camera to this scene so i'll go layer new camera okay and i'll choose the 50 millimeter preset always good hit okay and to the camera i'm going to go to layer and add an orbit null so that i can orbit around this shape if i hit the r key on the null object okay i'm going to just add a single rotation on the y-axis so it's just going to just going to rotate around the shape okay and what I'm going to do is take this layer just um, just make sure I'm in my timeline selected go to file and export and I'm going to export it with the maximum cinema 4d exporter there and I'll call it the same thing c4d tester Okay, so I'm just going to hit save on that. All right. And then I'm going to go to file, import, file, and I'm going to import it back in. Okay. So now I've got Cinema 4D Tester. I'm going to drop that into this scene. Okay, like so. And it'll just take a moment to work things out. Okay. So now you can see slightly different position, not to worry about that. Um, there's our Cinema 4D scene. And I'm going to also use the camera, the centered comp camera. All right. So now what it's done is it's using the camera from after Effects, not the camera from Cinema 4D. So it's kind of put things back in the right place. Okay. So if I turn off that white solid, we've still got a white solid, but that white solid now lives in Cinema 4D. Okay. So if I click on the live link here, enable, it's going to take us over to Cinema 4D. All right. So now I've got a placeholder here. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and just take my uh, media training here. I've got I've got an object, so I'm going to replace this. I've got this James Webb telescope. Now here's a little thing I find when I drop an object into uh, Cinema 4D and just hit OK, it creates a new Cinema 4D file. But I want it in this file, so all I have to do is take these layers, hit Shift to select all the layers or command A or control A to select all. I'm just going to copy and then I'm going to just uh, close this. So here I'm going to go and paste that in. And if I want to resize things, I can click on this little uh, square here. And you see, If I've got everything selected, I can resize them all at once. If I just undo that, 
by clicking on this red arrow here okay if I click on one of these it'll just resize things on one axis so I don't want to do that it'll distort it but here's what I like to do before I do that is that it's very easy to say just grab one thing and just kind of resize that and I want to just resize the whole thing so if I take everything uh, except the objects the little square and right click and just group that together group that okay now if I just grab that little red arrow at the top I could resize the whole thing in one go you see and I can see this from different cameras like left camera okay front camera there it is so I can see also if I just click on the move tool here at the top of these arrows I can move that up okay and I'm also going to click on rotation and just rotate it around so it starts kind of facing us and this object here I can remove that now okay let's take that away all right and uh, we've got so if I hit save here if I'll save okay that's okay and just go back to uh, After Effects here and take a little bit of time to update and there it is there's our object and there's our camera moving around the object okay so creating a comp with just a placeholder in the middle and doing your camera animation first helps you get the right place in Cinema 4D okay so that's working well if I go to uh, renderer from software to final you can actually see the final shading and I think oh well it's a little darker okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back um, onto uh, Cinema 4D okay and let's just uh, zoom in on this a bit let's just go to my cameras default camera and uh, let's go to perspective there all right I'm going to put a, a light on this clicking this light tool light okay and I can move this light around go to the move tool move it up all right and just stick it in front of the dish there something like that that's quite nice give us some nice shaded on this so if I hit save now I'll jump back to After Effects all right so we've got some nice lights on this now all right and again to get my space background I simply went and did a new solid I'll call it stars okay drop that to the bottom I put the CC starburst effect on there and obviously my solid because earlier I made a small solid 100 by 100 I'm just going to choose make comp size okay I'm going to scatter these stars a lot more make them slower okay so we'll get the camera and now you've got a camera in here you can see that we've got this camera and it's behaving like just a normal After Effects camera not some kind of often with uh, Cinema 4D you import a camera it's in a weird place it, it's it's hard to animate but now you've got a very simple centered camera with a null object and you can do animations with that easily okay so that's my little workflow for simplifying uh, getting a Cinema 4D object with an animation with a camera move into After Effects okay and uh, hope that helps thanks for watching